Great job. Have fun, enjoy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All oh, craziness, okay. Here's what's going on. Basically, this is a behind the scenes vlog, meaning I have no internet currently in real time. So I shot all this footage, uh, some behind the scenes for all of you, just to show you what it takes to film the daily running vlog. Remember, I was in Leadville about six days ago, filming the Leadville Marathon with Olympian Kara Goucher. Amazing. So anyway, this is a behind the scenes throwback. Um, I had to do this because I literally have no internet where I'm at in real time. I hope you enjoy behind the scenes vlog. Let's roll. All right, first, coffee. It's 4.37 a.m. That's why, a lot of coffee. Here's all my stuff that I'm packing up in the car. The running shoes, the lights, the camera bag. It's just like, it never ends. It never ends. All right, here we go. Lighting as a cinematographer. Lighting is your best friend. A lot of times you guys don't even see it, but yes, I do incorporate lighting into the daily running vlog just to make a little extra beauty for you. It's amazing what a good light can do. And I did forget that I need some gas. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta get the fuel. All right, just pulled over, got the shot, the drone shot that I wanted. I've been wanting to stop at that location for years, so I finally did it, and I, I only put the drone up for maybe two minutes and then had to, because I got to zip to the starting line, and that's part of this daily vlogging uh, journey timing. You really, like, I can't miss the start of the race. That would defeat the, a little bit of the purpose of coming up here and filming the race. Like, you got to get the start. So. Uh, anyway, it's like timing, timing, timing is critical. And thankfully, I kind of enjoy timing. So, all right, almost to Leadville. Oh man, there is so much snow up here. I don't even know what to do with it all. It's like there is a lot of snow left to melt. I don't even know if it's gonna melt this year. Like it is, there's gonna, definitely gonna be some rem remnants for the upcoming uh, ski season. All right, little inside secret here, tip of the day. <sighs> Part of, okay, there's a couple reasons I wear a green hat. One of them, when I'm out at races and I'm filming, is so people can recognize me and come up and say hello, because I want to meet you guys. So that's part of the reason why I always, you know, I love my, my new white Solomon hat, but anyway, that's just like a little trick. If you're thinking of starting a vlog or, uh, yeah, starting a vlog, it's good to have something that makes you stand out. And so what I have chosen is a green hat, now and forever, all right or at least until it wears out. <laughs> I made position, both cameras are filming. I feel real good about the situation, real good. I'm still a little unclear about the course since they changed it due to the snow, but we will figure this out. So the runners are gonna be coming by here probably in about two to three minutes. Rock and roll time, rock and roll. So uh, the race is about halfway over and I'm just learning the course as we go here, folks. Learning alongside you. Uh, it's just like the course change is throwing me off, throwing a lot of people off, but 
We're getting it done, trying to get shots for you guys. And that was uh, second and third place in the men's. And I'll just wait for the women's here, top three to come through, looking strong, all three of them. And shout out to Kara, go Buffs. Oh man, it's fun to see. It's fun to see a fellow buff out here crushing the trails and uh, an Olympian to boot. All right, here comes fourth place guy, You're looking strong. All right, getting the shot everybody. Because sometimes you just gotta get dirty on the ground. Rock and roll. Just getting a nice ground perspective. This is one of my favorite angles to film. Boom. I got the big mountain in the background. The runner's coming up. Epic. Boom. Just, this is a tough part of the course. All right, I feel good about that. I feel good about that. All right. And just so you know, I'm not afraid to get my equipment dirty. <laughs> it's not ideal, but I'm just not afraid. If it gets the shot, I think it's worth it. a quick uh, tip of the day behind the scenes filming racing vlogs a lot of times you'll have a couple races happening at the same time I would recommend just focusing on one I made that mistake uh, when did I make that recently I can't even remember which race but so there's a marathon going on today and a half marathon and it's just a lot better to focus on today I'm doing the marathon because then you start mixing up footage mixing up races you don't know which racers are in which course so anyway that's what we're doing today focusing on that marathon for example here comes the half good job buddy <laughs> so. welcome in heavy half finisher emma watson karen ray andy ray All right, all right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, it's, ha it's hard to film an entire race and create a vlog out of it and try and get all the finishers. I did miss the first place men's finisher. I apologize. I believe his name was Josh. Sorry, Josh, he just was too fast. I couldn't get my camera out faster, fast enough after hopping off my bike. Shout out to men's and women's winners. Uh, I'll try and get the names into the, uh, into the vlog as well. And shout out to Kara. Great job, Kara. I think she ended up fourth. Uh, first trail race, that's amazing, at 10,000, 11,000. I think they topped out at like just under 12,000 feet. So congrats, Kara. Good to see you there at the finish line uh, with Adam. And uh, all right, I'm heading back to the studio and we'll break down this a little bit more, but that was a fun day uh, here in Leadville, Colorado. Great living at 10,152 feet above sea level. Oh, good times. Man, I wish I could, sh and, and oh yeah, real quick, shout out to everyone that yelled during the race, SJD, that was amazing. That was probably, I don't know, 15, 20 people. So that's good. That tells me that we're onto something here, making racing vlogs for everybody. Uh, and who knows, maybe someday I'll get you in the vlog. All right, here we go. And the batteries died. Oh, it's all part of the experience, ladies and gentlemen. All right, how to film a daily running or race vlog. This, is a, this was a behind the scenes of the Leadville Marathon filmed last week. And yes, batteries will die. You gotta be ready. Uh, I'm getting used to a new audio setup right now. I just started using it like five days ago. So I wasn't aware as to how, in fact, I gotta check right now. Okay, we're good. I wasn't aware as far as how long the battery pack would last. So lesson learned about seven, eight hours approximately. So now I'll know to pack a second one. And so what I was about to say on the streets of Leadville before the audio cut is, and yes, it's another tip and we're gonna go with tips for keyword because I gave out a lot of tips today. Uh, here you go. You wanna keep, if you're filming a running race or you're filming anything actually. You, if you're filming your daily runs, you don't want to get the same shots every day. Your audience will get very bored. That's why I like to run in the city, run in the mountains, 
uh, run in a park. I try to be as uh, diverse as possible in the different types of settings and in an actual race environment, it's really easy to get sucked into the finish line area and just stay there. I would recommend getting out onto the course, uh, getting the setting shots of Leadville, like you're looking at right now, like it's an old historic mining town. And so that really helps tell the overall story. It's a little more work. You gotta get, you gotta get those muscles out, carry those cameras around, but it's, it pays off so, so much for your audience. And yes, I hope today's behind the scenes of the Leadville Marathon uh, justifies replacing a daily vlog considering I have no internet right now when you're watching this. So thank you for bearing with me on that. And yeah, let me know. Oh yeah, question of the day. Let me know your questions about how I film the daily running vlog. And guess what? I'll do my best to answer all the questions, uh, but it might take two, three, four days, especially once I get back to internet, if you know what I mean. All right. Thanks for watching. That was fun. Um, man. And I didn't even, I scratched the surface, the surface as far as what it actually takes, but I hope that gave you a little insight as to what I, what I do on my, uh, daily routine here on the YouTube. Seek beauty, work hard.